Welcome to Monday Night Sports Fusion. Today is February 2nd, 2015. My name is Alex Fuse, and before we have Anthony Ezzo and Pete Toma on tonight to talk about Super Bowl 49, let's go outside with Pete Toma to talk about the weather because breaking record blizzard here in Albany, New York today. So what does Pete Toma have to say about the weather right now? Oh, Fuse Nation, on this episode of Sports Fusion, we got a little bit of a weather report for you. As you can see, it's still snowing, and we got about a foot of snow. It's a whopping six degrees out here, and it isn't going to get any warmer for tomorrow morning. About one degree tomorrow when you wake up. Now, I'll be going back inside to talk to Alex about Super Bowl 49. Thanks for joining us on Sports Fusion. On the phone now, they are both varsity football players for Shoma High School, Pete Toma and Anthony Yezzo. So, Anthony, first off, how did you guys think the game was overall? Anthony? Uh, well, so yeah, it was definitely a great game. Uh, the battle of the uh, two best teams in the NFL um, came down to the wire, which is good. Uh, you don't want to leave the TV or leave the room that you're watching it in because you wanted to see how it was going to end. So overall, it was a really good game. And Pete? I thought it was a very good game, you know. Tied going into halftime, it doesn't get much closer than that. Anytime you're tied up at half, I think it's going to be a dog fight to the end. Mm -hmm. You know, Seahawks had that drive at the end of the first there. They end up taking a 10-point lead uh, under the third, and then they uh, come down mm -hmm. to the end there to the very last play, and then you got the fireworks at the end, which I like because I'm a hockey guy. But I thought it was a very good game, you know. I don't think... Couldn't get any closer, you know, 20 seconds left and he threw an interception, so uh, that's that. That'll, that'll uh, throw you in the bag. Mm -hmm. So the last play of the game, should they have run the ball or tried to throw it, Pete? Uh, I think they should have ran the ball. You know, you got arguably one of the best running backs in the league, and I think 99 out of 100 people will tell you that you should run the ball there with Marshall Lynch. But uh, I understand why you throw the ball, you know, it's, Try to catch him sleeping, maybe, but clearly that didn't work, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, there was actually, I saw a picture on Twitter, it was of the play, and, uh, I read through the eyes of Ru Russell Wilson that showed you the picture, and you could definitely understand why, uh, why he threw the ball, you know. He was screened by the defender, and he, he had no idea he was coming there, and he, mm -hmm. he, you know, his own guy set that pick there, and then, uh, he came around the pick, and then he picked the ball off, so, that was that. Yeah. How about you, Anthony? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely just should have ran the ball. Uh, like, just like Pete said, uh, they got arguably one of the best running backs in the mm -hmm. NFL. Uh, running behind one of the, one of the arguably the best, uh, office blinds in the, uh, NFL. So, I mean, he, all they need is one yard, and, I mean, they don't call, they don't call Marshawn Lynch Beast Mode for no reason. Uh, yeah. definitely, I would even take him or even Russell Wilson getting the ball in there last day of the game. Uh, I mean, I definitely, they should probably shouldn't. I, I, I just like Pete said, I understand why they uh, made the call and stuff like that, trying to get catch him sleeping, but definitely they should have ran the ball. So, Super Bowl Forty Nine, one word, controversy. Do you think the Patriots cheating helped them win the Super Bowl and against the Colts, Anthony? Uh, personally, I, I would say I would say it gave them an advantage in that that game against uh, the Colts, but I mean. It, all in all, they still they took all the NFL took all the precautions to make sure nothing was uh, to be questioned for the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you you still got to catch the ball, you still got to throw the ball, you still got to run the ball. So I mean, they did what they needed to do. Mm -hmm. How about you, Pete? Uh, I don't think it. Uh, I really don't think it had a big impact on it. You know, uh, if if anything, it would have been the media and it would have been a distraction to the Patriots, but. Uh, I don't think it affected them at all. You know, they end up walking over the Colts in the second half with, with inflated footballs, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, like Anthony said, the uh, NFL took all the correct precautions, you know. And we haven't really had any questions answered, but uh, who knows, maybe we'll see something come up in the next couple of weeks of what actually happens. Yeah. Okay, Pete and Anthony, thank you for joining me on this Monday Night Sports Fusion episode. No problem. Thank you for joining me on this Monday Night Sports Fusion episode. Join me tomorrow night at 7.30. We got three interviews on one show. Jarrett Reynolds, 
David Connell, and Kyle Cannavale on Tomorrow Night Sports Fusion. Thanks for joining me. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you tomorrow.